Hi there. This is Dr. Pan recording from Tucson, Arizona. Hope life is treating you well, and thank you for watching this clip on sequence. We are asked to find a recursive rule for the sequence that's given below. This is a really interesting and neat problem. I remember when I was learning the first time, I really didn't like those problems because they're just puzzling. There's a pattern behind it which I can't see, but as I get older and I had more experience, then I started liking them. What I've done here is I put an index on top over here, n equal to 1, n equal to 2, so on and so forth. We have fifth term over here, which is 26. Now, the first thing you need to know is what order we're looking at. Then the, the way you do this, you're going to subtract the terms in between. So here is 4, 5, 6, and 7. Obviously, this is a second order. Okay, I hope this is not a surprise to you because if this step is a surprising, um, you might have to go back to take a look at the textbook or hunt down your teacher and really ask a lot of questions. But this step is very important. By taking the difference between each terms, once you get a constant term of two layers, this is the second order, if you had constant difference and the first order, the order or the layers, how deep you have to go, determines what the general recursive rule looks like. So for each term, a specific a n, uh, for second order, we have second order equation, which is a, a big constant, times the index squared plus b times the index plus c. Okay, now our job, of course, is to find a, b, and c. If you had a first order, then a, n is in the form of a times n plus b. Then you're done. So you're looking for a and b. And hopefully you won't run into, into this awful problem of third order. But if you do, ooh, I feel sorry for you. I guess I don't know what else to say. It's a cubed plus b n squared plus cn plus d. So obviously, you will have to find a system of four equations to look for. To look for, for four constants here. Now, for our case, thank God, uh, we have a second order. Okay, so let's get started. Second order, we're looking for three equations because we have three unknowns. So let's write it out. 4, 8, 13. It should be enough. n equal to 1, n equal to 2, n equal to 3. So my equations is going to be 4. This is n equal to 1. Okay, so 4 is equal to a times 1 squared plus b times 1 plus c. And then I have 8 is equal to, let's see, what do I have? 4a, which is a times 4 plus b times 2 plus c. And then 13 is equal to a times 9, which is 3 squared, plus b times 3 plus c. Okay, now system of three variables, three equations, we're solving for a, b, and c. Okay, so I'm going to go relatively quick because this part is pretty easy. Um, what I have is done is simplify the equation here. So I have a, b, and c, that's off the first equation. And the next one, I have a 4a plus 2b plus c. And then 13 is equal to 9a plus 3b plus c. Subtracting equation 2 and 1 together, okay, I have an equation I can reduce it down to 4 is equal to 3a plus b. Okay. Subtracting 3 and 2 together, I have a 5 is equal to 5a plus b. Obviously, I'm just solving system of three equations. I reduced from 3 to 2, and I'm going to reduce one more time, and I should have, let's, let's go downward. So subtracting, let's say, where are we now? 4 and 5, equation 4 and 5, I have 1 is equal to 2a, which is saying a is equal to half. Oh, a lot of work just to get a one variable. Okay, a equal to half. This is a. Okay, substituting sub back to your choice. I end up picking number five. Equation number five. I have four is equal to three times a, which is a half, plus b. This one gives me b is equal to 
five and a half. Why those constants are not pretty constants. But oh well. Now let's sub back to let's say equation what? Number one. That looks good. And then I have uh, four is equal to a, which is half plus b plus c. And then that gives me c is equal to one. Ah, at least this one is a prettier constant. Okay, so I have a, b, and c. So our recursive rule looks like a n is equal to half times index squared plus five and a half times index plus one. Here's our rule. Now, of course, we got to check it out because otherwise, how do we know we even get it close or get it close to right? Let's uh, write our thing back in here. We have, uh, what do we have? Four, eight, 13, and I'm missing one here. Four, eight, 13, 19, and 26 is n equal to five, n equal to one. So let's check it, n equal to one. Our rule is a n is equal to half n squared plus five half n plus one. So let's check all those numbers. n equal to one, I have a half plus five two plus one, which equal to four. All right. n equal to two, I have half times four plus five plus one, and I have eight. All right. n equal to three. So far, everything is on track. Five over two times three plus one. And then I have a 13, that looks good too. And equal to four, half times 16, plus five and a half times four, plus one is 19. All right, this one works out. And equal to five, half times 25, plus five over two times five, plus one, equal to 26. All right, everything checked out. So hopefully this is clean. I went a little fast near the end because I'm running out of time. Once again, from Tucson, Arizona, this is Dr. Pam making learning math fun. At least trying to. If the video has been helpful, I would appreciate a comment or a thumb up. Until next time, have a confident day.